That's actually the face I make when I re thought I recorded the whole video, but the audio wasn't recorded. So <laughs> I'm reshooting everything. So how's it going, guys? This is Ryo Murata, photographer based in Tokyo. So a follower asked me this question, a location where I can get my film process within Tokyo. And I think one year ago, I made a video on Champ Camera, which they do film process on day. However, because due to location being located underneath Tokyo it's rather far away to access it's roughly 40 minutes or so so I thought like I should actually cover a film slash camera slash accessory store actually based in Tokyo that does on day film processing for my followers and subscribers because no other like youtuber talked about this camera slash film slash shop actually so so I actually went to Popeye Camera, which is located in Jiugaoka. And interesting enough, Jiugaoka is roughly eight minutes on the train away from Shibuya Station. So if you're ever in Tokyo, if you're ever in Shibuya, hop on to the Tokyo Toyoko Line on the express. It's like the third stop away from Shibuya lies Popeye Camera. And interesting enough, the camera. The camera slash photography communities outside of Japan doesn't know about this, but Popeye Camera opened its doors 85 years ago, back in 1936, and on Showa year 11, which is two generations from now, actually. Three emperors. When the emperors change, the era changes. Showa, Heisei, Reiwa right now. So <laughs> went a little bit off topic. But ever since they opened their doors back in 1936, uh, Popeye Camera actually served the community, the photography community, especially the consumers actually, in focus. Not for the, and I had to mention this beforehand, this is not a location for serious, avid photographers who are like film camera forever film kind of type of people. It's more like people who like to casually shoot with a film camera and along with that their camera store is more like more like how should I say camera accessories and stationary goods they do sell cameras within their stores but not much as much as the camera shashinki store in Shinjuku actually so if you're a serious person I would highly suggest going to the shashinki store in Shinjuku Kitamura but this store in particular is more like for the casual type of people. And interesting enough, they do have various cameras such as Nikon SLRs and also the Mamiya C330, which caught my attention, but I don't have that much purchase. <laughs> but they also, in addition to that, sell various camera accessories such as camera straps, camera pouches, camera cases, uh, film cases, and not to mention film stocks that are being sold for affordable prices actually and they actually have Fuji Color 100 which a lot of shops were sort of like out of stock which is good to know actually and also Kodak film stocks such as Gold, uh, Color Plus and also 120 film stocks Gold 200, Portra and yeah, various other black and whites too actually so and along with that, Popeye cameras like really interesting because it is located in Jiugaoka and not many people know about this, but Jiugaoka is not a sort of like a high end type of area, but more like a really super fashionable type of area where it's not like famous brands, but more like a lot of select shops who are into like fashion, who are into stationaries or who are looking for a new encounter and stuff like that. And the city itself have modernized to the point where it looks really nice in my eyes actually and they also built a sort of like a mini Venice actually around this area which is also a location for people who like to take snapshots of that area and she went off a little bit off topic but they also do the important part film processing on day they do 35 they do 120 medium format and they do 110 and also cross processing i'm not sure about the cross processing if they do it within a day but for color natives they do it within the day and depending on how busy the hours is of the operations it might take longer and similar to champ camera actually and they also do monochrome processing at a reasonable price 
and there's not much to talk about because I already covered everything. But for people who are new to Tokyo and looking for like cameras or maybe accessories, more like accessories, they have a lot in store for you. I mean, it's hard to cover everything. They do sell like camera magazines and photo books, actually, interesting enough. So if you're into that and albums and stuff like that, this is a one stop go to location. And it's not like, I don't know why, but not many like foreigners mention about this shop, but hopefully I can get this word out to a lot of people. That it is a great shop. If you're looking for a new encounter, looking for new discoveries within this within this sort of like photography community. So that's basically it. So yeah. So a lot, I might go a little bit off topic, but Jugaka, like I said, is a fashionable area. But what's interesting is that there is a historical background to this area. And there's, I don't want to talk about it much, but there was one location that got me curious, which is the, oh, I forgot the name. I forgot the name, but Hikari, Hikari guy, if I'm right, or Ali actually. And this area hasn't changed much actually. There were there's a couple of shops that actually sort of like changed within the period of time, but it hasn't been sort of like an untouched relic actually in a good way in the retro fashion. And if you're ever in Jiugaoka area, this is also a great location to look for sort of like retro vibe actually because this alley spans across roughly one kilometer or so with various shops and it feels as if you time slipped back in time. So yeah, if you're ever in Tokyo or maybe if you checked Shibuya, it's just two, three stops away from Shibuya Station on the Tokyo Toyoka line, Popeye camera is the one to go location. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys found it informative. If you have any questions, I am happy to reply. So yeah, keep shooting, keep shopping, and keep finding what you love to shoot. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Peace out. And hopefully this audio is recorded. So yeah.